Good morning. I'm broadcasting from my kitchen this morning, early in the morning, lights still off, because we've made some progress. I don't want to talk about goals as we're starting the new week. And one of the goals that my wife and I have had is we've been trying to get our son to sleep more regularly and to go to bed at a certain time and to, we're trying to get him to sleep until a certain time. So up until last night, he's been doing really well, but still getting up pretty early um, in the morning. And so what I've been doing prior to today was uh, getting up with him, changing him, feeding him, and then putting him back and then sleeping for like another hour or so before I had to get up for work. Today, probably partially because of what we've been doing, but also partially because Easter was really busy for him yesterday. We took him out to see family and he was really exhausted. So this morning he actually slept in like an hour and a half longer than he normally does and which lined up perfectly with me starting work. So today I was able to just like get up normally as I normally would with him and to put him in the pack and play and he's laying there right now just behind the camera and I brought my laptop up to the kitchen and I'm just sitting at the kitchen counter working so it's it's pretty nice if this is if we can get into a rhythm like this this is not bad uh he he still wakes up once in the middle of the night but one time is nothing compared to what it's been for the last 10 weeks so good progress set a goal we're working towards it my my brother Harvey and I we know we make we're making our daily conversation videos our goal with them is to try to uh, inspire people to try to uh, encourage others to consider setting goals and improving on themselves specifically people in our position we're both fathers of young children and we you know we talk a lot we've talked a lot offline about wanting to do the best that we can and wanting to focus on that. And it takes, it does take focus. It does take thinking about, and it does take, I don't know what the word, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the word, but it, it takes a focus. You can't just say like, oh, I'm gonna do better. You have to actually con consider what you're doing. I guess consideration is the word I'm looking for. It takes consideration to actually make those changes or make those adjustments or to do better each day. So we've kind of had a, um, a couple things we're doing, but one of them was to send videos to each other every day with encouragement and updates and to both encourage the other person to work harder or to, to, to continue focusing on a daily basis, but also to keep ourselves accountable. And when it comes to goals, I'm really happy because we actually, um, we started the first video I sent him was March 2nd. It wasn't intentionally at the beginning of March, just, that's what it was. And we did every single day, we sent each other at least one each. So today, I posted all of March, all of the videos for March in order in one video. So if anyone like wanted to say, watch them all from the beginning and see what happens, or see, see what happened, you could. We're going to do that each month now, so I'm going to do one for April as well. The funny thing is, is that um, we didn't realize how much we had actually accomplished. And when I put them all together, the video is three hours and 17 minutes long. So I'm really not, I'm not expecting too many people to watch the whole thing. It's more there just to be there. But it's really funny that without even real, without even realizing it, we had made 317 minutes worth of video. So it's uh, in one month. So it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm feeling very positive there. Uh, it's April 1st. I don't really have a good April Fool's joke yet, but I'll try to do something to my wife later. I, I got to think about it. Um, but in April, we're going to keep it going. My main goal is consistency for April. So we were able to make some adjustments and figure out how to, to how to get it working, like on a technical level where he can, he's in Michigan, I'm in Pennsylvania. So like, how does he send me the videos? How do we upload them? Things like that. So it worked out. And so now that we kind of have a rhythm going, so it's about consistency. I want to consistently update the videos with him. I want to work on getting them better little by little. I have some ideas on how we're going to do that. Nothing major, but we're just going to kind of gradually increase. And then for uh, my daily vlogs, which I'm on like day nine right now, I just want to keep going because I'm, I'm actually having a great time doing this. So it's, it's good. So setting goals are important. And when you do, you accomplish them. 
The other goal that Harvey and I have besides the videos are uh, fitness related goals. He's a little bit ahead of me there, but I've been in March, I started. I was hitting the treadmill quite often. Um, that's really all I was doing and walking the dog for like long walks, but just trying to get myself into it. And I feel like in April, on April 1st, you know, today, I feel a lot, I feel like I kind of got over that initial hump of, of starting. So my goal today and my goal for this month is to actually push a little bit. I think before I was being safe in March and I talked a lot about like not wanting to hurt myself and wanting to ease into it. I feel like I have eased into it. So this month and starting today, I'll go later. I'm going to hit the treadmill, but I'm going to push it a little bit harder. And I'm going to start doing, and one thing Harvey's doing is he's, he's just kind of doing like push-ups and sit-ups and things like throughout the day. And I actually think that's kind of smart. So just do like 10 here, 10 there. And he says it's, it's, uh, it's working. So I'm going to do those two things. I'm going to start incorporating a few push-ups and things like that throughout the day too. Nothing crazy. And then when I hit the treadmill starting today, um, I'm, I'm not going like, to sprint three miles or something like that, but I'm going to start to push beyond where I was, what I was doing in March and to make progress. So I'm going to get to work now. Like I said, it's early. Let him sleep a little. It looks like he's kind of zoning out a little bit. So I'll let him kind of rest there in the pack and play. And then, um, we'll be on with the day. So listen up guys, we got a kind of a big, I don't want to say an update or change or anything like that because it was kind of what I was already saying. I was already saying I want to push it harder today on the treadmill, on working out, on my goals for April. And after I had made that video or recorded that part of the video, I got a message from Harvey. And you know how we do our daily updates to each other. And we were talking yesterday and we were like, is there anything we want to do to change what we've done? We did it for a whole month. We did it for March. Do we want to change anything going forward? And he said, I want to focus a little bit more on motivating, on pushing with the fitness and pushing with the workout and to push each other along because he's got the itch. He really wants to like really work hard. And so I said, okay, that's fine. You know, so he messaged me this morning and that's what I was kind of talking about that in the video earlier. So he sent me uh, uh, the daily update today and it was basically like a challenge to me. He said he's doing... 50 push-ups every single day. This is just a minimum. 50 push-ups and 150 sit-ups. And he said he's basically blowing it out of the water, but that's like his bare minimum. He's going to be doing that every day for the whole month of April. And I was just saying, I want to get to the next level. So I saw that message. I got inspired. I got down on the ground. I did like, I've done, I think, 20 push-ups so far today. And I've done like 50 sit-ups and... There's no like do 50 and then 150 all together, but just do it throughout the day. I will say 50 push-ups. I can't do 50 in a row, but 50 push-ups in a day, I can do it. I, after doing 20, it's pretty easy. Uh, I did 50 sit-ups. I'm a little fat. I'm a little out of shape. Man, 50, 150 sit-ups is going to be tough in the beginning. And that's pathetic to say, but it's true. It's going to be really tough, but I'm going to do it. And then it's going to get easier and easier and easier. And same with the the push-ups. Um, I won't say this is an official goal that I'm putting out there, but one thing I'm thinking is that maybe by the end of April, if I do this, that I maybe I could do 50 push-ups in a row. I think I could do like 20 in a row right now without a problem. So maybe if I do it every single day, by the end of the month, I'll do 50 without stopping. Like I said, not a goal, not a challenge, but just we'll, we'll call it a benchmark. We'll see what happens. As far as the sit-ups, 150, man, I don't know, man. I, I think I'm just too fat. I think I got too much roundness in here. I'm trying to crunch and it's it's in the way. So I need to get out of the way. But um, yeah, you can see I'm pumped up. I'm ready to go. He lit a fire under me. So I'm still working, but that's the thing I was telling him. I work in this big room and I have a lot of calls throughout the day. And then I have like 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes between things. Or sometimes I'm just waiting for somebody to respond. Get down, do 10 push-ups, get back up. That's kind of how I'm going to do it. I think that's basically what he's doing too. He was saying his daughter, she takes, you know, she has to have a bath. He just sits there and watches her. So he's like doing sit-ups while he watches her or doing push-ups. So got 30 more push-ups, a hundred more sit-ups to go today. And then when I finish work in like another hour or two, I'm going to get on the treadmill. And then after that, we've got, um, some friends invite us to like this food truck thing. So we're going to go get some 
something from the food trucks I definitely need to, to work out, but I'll try to keep it healthy. And then after that, I have to hit the grocery store because we're like out of food and be even more healthy when I go to the grocery store and make sure I get good stuff. So I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling pumped. <sighs> we're going to do it. And in like a couple months, these videos won't be like me trying to inspire myself to get there. It'll be me in really good shape, running hard, saying, you can do it too. That's that's what I really want to do. So anyways, I got to get back to work. Well, I'm going to do like 10 push-ups, then I'm going to get back to work. Work is done for the day, for the most part. I'll have to jump on one email or something later, but nothing major. <sighs> got my shoes on, and I'm in that two minutes before I start working out phase of like needing to talk myself up. So... <laughs> Uh, let's do this. As for goals today, the only goal is to step it up, right? Goal has been the theme of the day. And uh, starting here at like three miles per hour, just warming up, go for a couple minutes. What I've done the last month to just start this whole routine and get things going was to do a 3k a day not every day but three or sorry 5k every day that I was doing it I was on the treadmill and I was just kind of power walking and maybe stepping it up a little bit here and there so today it's gonna be harder to film so I'll say it now and I'll do it and then come back maybe a little bit later in the video. I'm going to do 5k in 50 minutes, which is pushing it from where we were. We we're doing basically a power walk. It's like 60 minutes. So that means just got to cut out about 10 minutes, stepping it up here and there, a little bit of jogging, maybe a quarter mile at a time, stop, quarter mile, stop. So kind of go up and down like that and I think I can easily do it. I think it's gonna be pretty simple. But like I said, this is, uh, we're, we're making progress and we're gonna keep cutting out. I think what I'll do maybe, we'll do 50 minutes today, 49 next time, 48 the next time, 47 the next time. And we'll keep doing that until we get to a point where I can't do it. Because eventually I'm gonna to get to one where I'll say like, 41 minutes and I can't make it. And we'll have to keep going until we break it, then we'll go to the next one, 40, 39, 38. So we'll see. I really have no idea where my limit is with running right now, so we'll find out. But all right, I'm gonna keep warming up, get something good going on the TV, and we're gonna we're gonna step it up. I just went, just stepped it up for half a mile. I did it. I can do it. Still got some ways to go. It should have been easier, but it wasn't that hard. I, um, I'm realizing as I'm running that I don't really, I didn't really think this through because I said I was aiming for 50 minutes. I'm just kind of going faster and slower. I'm not gonna be that precise. So we're just gonna have to keep an eye on the time. Right now we're at 1.1 miles in about 17 minutes. So we're well ahead of schedule. We're actually, no, are we? Yeah, we're about on schedule, I should say. So we'll walk for another half mile at this pace, 3.3. Then we'll do another half. And we'll reanalyze where we are. I think that, that kind of leaves the last section, leaves some room to make it kind of easier and a little bit lighter just in case we'll step it up one more time i think doing my math in my head we're going to be right on time if we keep it up at this pace so we can't slow down so let's do it the only way forward is through i'm proud of myself right now but also disappointed because this should be easy. It's not easy. I'm proud that I'm pushing through. I'm 
I'm proud that I'm trying hard. I'm proud that I'm on here doing this instead of just wasting time. But considering my fitness only a few years ago, I'm disappointed that I got to this point. 33 minutes, we're at 2.1 miles. So we can do it. We need one more mile in about, I don't know, 16, 17 minutes, which should be pretty easy. Mark my words, you're gonna see me do this in 33 minutes the whole way before you know it. Catch my breath, we'll go again. I'm feeling it. 38 minutes in. Got about less than three quarters of a mile left. We're gonna blow it out. We're gonna beat the time. But we're not gonna beat it without stepping it up one more time. I'm kind of, at this point, curious to see where I actually might finish because I don't know that I could go that much faster than this. So this is almost like a test run. Let's do it. Let's go. We'll get better, but we did it. We're at 3.04 miles, 48 minutes. So we have to do it in 50. We're gonna do it in about 49. We'll see what the final time is. But uh, man, I don't know. I was, my heart rate was high. I was feeling good though. I feel all right. But heart rate was definitely way up there. And I was worried. Getting older, out of shape. How hard do you push? I said, let's keep going. I don't feel any pain. I don't feel lightheaded. I actually feel really good. To be honest, I feel quite good. And we're gonna hit it almost on the dot. So we're at, let's see, 49 minutes right now. We're at 3.09, so I still have to do it in under 50 minutes. I'll tell you in just a second once we pass. There we go, 49.11. So I said next time we have to do it in 49 minutes, which was, I mean, that was the pace we were on. So we only have to step it up a tiny, tiny bit to do it. In particular, I was uh, walking pretty slow at the beginning just to warm up. So even if I just stepped that up to three miles an hour instead of two and a half or whatever it was, that'd be that 15 second difference that we need. So that will be doable. But then once we get to 48, 47, we're talking about whole minutes here. So I guess my original thought of kind of pushing until uh, pushing until I found my limit and I couldn't go any further. It was actually the beginning. <laughs> I think I got five more minutes in there. If I had to, I could push it up five minutes. But it's not gonna be easy after that. I mean, 45 minutes is gonna be kind of a, the, first, the first hump to get over. One thing that, I'm no expert, but when it comes to like cardio and stuff, one thing is not just your endurance, but your recovery. When you're in shape, your recovery is really quick. Heart rate goes up, heart rate goes down. But I'm at uh, being out of shape, my heart rate is staying elevated. I'm at 141 right now. We should be dropping to like 115 quickly. So that's something I've got to, that I'll pay attention to, to see our progress. Because I remember um, I was biking like 10 miles a day, like almost every day. And when I would do that, my heart rate would be up like 160s, 170s at times. But then I got in such shape that it became almost hard to get it that high. I had to really push. But then when I got back, when I get back, I'd make like a shake or something. It'd be like 100 before you know it. So it's that recovery is really important. But right now, I'm gonna have an elevated heart rate for like an hour probably, who knows. 138 right now. I also don't know how accurate this is, to be honest. 
This says I only went, this says I went 3.2 miles. I did start late, but this says 2.75, so I don't know, somewhere in the middle, but I'm just gonna, I don't care about the actual miles, that's not a thing. It's about progress. So whether this thing is right or wrong, I really don't care. I just, even if it's wrong, it's wrong every time. And I know I'm getting better. So that's all that really matters. But uh, I think it's, it seems pretty, when I hit like five or six miles per hour or whatever, it feels like that speed, it feels accurate. So I think it's close enough. Okay, we'll keep cooling down. We'll, we'll talk a little bit after that. I gotta say, for as uh, as hard as was, as hard as I was pushing, my heart rate was really high. Uh, I actually feel surprisingly pretty decent. So I'm gonna take a shower now, cool down. My, my recovery was a little bit better than I thought once I once I actually stopped. My heart rate did drop pretty quickly. So I think my cardio is a little bit better than I give myself credit for. Um, I didn't feel out of breath at all. I just felt like, I don't know, it's hard to, it's a, it's that feeling I just, I couldn't really push any further, but I it wasn't like I couldn't breathe or anything. So it's just, uh, just kind of a limit. So we'll, uh, we'll do more, but 49 minutes, 5k on the treadmill, more, uh, more to come. Just finished at that food truck event thing that. I was talking about earlier and I got some hibachi chicken and rice and some vegetables and man after that run I was hungry and I devoured it. <laughs> I'm feeling uh I'm feeling all right. I'm not feeling like 100% from that, you know, from pushing a little bit. Um a little tiny sore in my legs are just a little worn out, I guess, more than sore. And I do feel somewhat fatigued, but not horrible. My I've been watching my heart rate recovery it's not as bad as I thought it was earlier, but it's not as good as it should be either. So that's something to work on. There's there's a lot of things to work on, but I feel like today was a massive win because ultimately I needed, you know, I need to do this if I want to make it. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive, even though I need a nap now. <laughs> but I'm showered up. I'm cleaned up. I'm filled up with food. We're going to go to Aldi real quick. We just have to get a couple quick things for the next couple days and go home and relax. I don't think there's really much else to do today. For once in my life, I remember to bring my own bag. Let's head home now. It's another checkbox in the journey to being, as my brother says, fit dad. <laughs> We're gonna be fit dad. It's just, it's gonna take us a minute to get there. Pushing that cart around, I was like, oh. I definitely feel it, but we're gonna get there. Fit Dad, here we come. Our beautiful Easter eggs are gonna turn to beautiful egg sandwiches. This fancy slicer, it's very satisfying. Ready? What's a good angle? Do it. Ooh, satisfying. Nice. Just took the trash out. Wrapping up the day. I gotta say, I did that 5K earlier. I'm relatively okay. I did 150 sit-ups. Um, I'm all right. But I did 50 push-ups and I don't work out. <laughs> My arms are dead. I, I feel like tomorrow I'm not even gonna be able to hold the, the camera and I'm gonna be completely knocked out. So we'll see. But out of anything, whew, that those were embarrassingly brutal. But this is the beginning. We're gonna get there. Pretty soon we're gonna do 50 without stopping. So. It's got to start somewhere, I guess. Anyways, good night, you all. I'll catch you tomorrow.